Yogis, Courtney Rose here, and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a core power flow. Now when I say core power, I don't mean doing a ton of crunches and trying to get six pack abs and any of that stuff. I mean using our deep core muscles, all of the muscles that run along our skeleton and our deep spine to help us move and use core strength from the inside out. So we use our inner body to move our outer body and therefore make our outer body stronger naturally. So we're, that's what we're going to focus on today is getting that true core power and using that to help us move our body in different and dynamic ways. To start though, just come to a comfortable easy seat. I am on my knees. We'll be coming to uh, kind of a child's pose warm up <laughs> in a minute, but you can be seated uh, on the floor if that's more comfortable for you while we just tap into our Mula Bandha breath. Uh, from here, you want to inhale to your low belly and think about breathing in a 360 direction. Now this Mula Bandha breath is already going to start tapping into our deep core strength. So you're going to inhale and as you exhale you're going to squeeze the air in and out. Think about it traveling all along your spine, exhaling through the nose. So you inhale, exhale, inhale, so you're already moving the breath, channeling it through your deep core, through your breathing diaphragm, and exhaling through your nose. As you exhale, we want big, victorious, ujjayi sound. So as you exhale, think about like you're trying to fog up a window or a mirror, but nose or mouth is closed, exhaling through your nose. You can already start to feel that, even that breath, starting to get into our deep core and activating our outer core muscles naturally. So we're going to keep that breath going through the whole practice. I'm going to turn to the side so you can kind of see what we're going to do. We'll do a uh, will warm up. So on our knees, you're going to inhale. Uh, tiny arch in your back, so you just stretch your muscles. Exhale, fold forward, kind of into a child pose position. Inhaling here, exhale. Are you lifting up through all those deep core muscles? This time as you inhale, open your arms. Come to fold. So as you're doing this, we're thinking about moving from our spine. So it's not a crunch that we're focused on. We're focusing on the movement coming from those deep core muscles, from our spinal cord. And in turn, that's creating strength and power in our core. And if your hips, you know, they might not be all right on your heels, might be seated a little bit up, you can place a pillow there if that feels better for you. As you do this more and build more of your core power, your uh, hips will naturally sink a little bit closer to your heels. Last couple of breaths here. Last one. Inhale, open to stretch. We'll hold this for just one more moment. And exhale. This time making your way onto hands and knees, firmly planted into the earth, strong palms. You can tuck your toes under. We'll take that kind of movement a little bit deeper. So you're gonna inhale. Arch your spine, exhale, round out your back and lift your knees off of the earth. Inhale. So again, really thinking about lifting your front low belly, the front of your uh, low spine, really lifting that in and up and that is what's gonna lift the knees. And again, that movement from our deep core power is what is creating strength in our abdominal, our outer abdominal wall. Last few here. This time as you hold, really lift in and up, press yourself back into a down dog. Pedal out your feet here for just a moment and then walk 
your feet towards the center of your mat, coming into a forward fold. So starting with bent knees, wave your spine long, exhaling over your legs, and then just straightening your legs to that edge of stretch. Not super warm here, so they're not gonna be like super straight. So just finding that first edge of stretch, you can wave back and forth, starting to warm up your legs. And of course, you want to channel our core power. So we're going to really use our core, deep core line, to roll up to stand. So ground into the earth with your feet here. You want to think about lifting up, like suction cup through your arches almost, and really taking that power, lifting all the way up through your inner thighs, lifting up from your hips, rolling your spine in and up, extending your arms to the sky, and exhale. Inhale, hands come to heart center. Now we really want to think about using all of that deep core uh, muscle as we do this next part of the flow. So from here, you can kind of step your feet, make sure they're in a comfortable position, knees and toes in line because we're going to come into chair. So sit back into your hips, really think about sitting back to your sits bones, back into your heels, and coming into your chair position. And you don't want a lot of weight in your toes, you should be able to kind of lift your toes up. You don't want your knees over your toes. That's why I say really think about sitting back and lifting up from that arch of your foot, from your inner thighs, front of your low belly, lifts in and up, creating that core strength in your chair pose. And for a super added core challenge, we're gonna try lifting one knee and then the other. So ground into the earth with your left foot, right knee lifts, and then switch. In kind of a dance and play like movement, but again, really lifting in and up with that core. Last one on each side. Sit back into your chair, realign your spine, inhale, exhale, fold over your legs. Keep them bent, wave your spine long, and then exhale, finding that edge of stretch. Very nice, bending your knees here, grounding into the earth, really lifting in and up through all of your deep core line, coming to stand. Exhale. We're going to take that chair knee lift challenge a little bit deeper. So this time, sitting back into your chair again, we'll think about sitting back into your hips, grounding into the earth with your heels. And this time, lift the right knee in and up and step it back just about halfway. You don't have to go all the way back to a high lunge. You'll inhale, inhale here. As you exhale, fists of fire come to low belly as you lift your knee into your chest. Inhale. This is, of course, a lot of challenge for your legs, but we're creating tons of core power just by moving from that deep core line and that deep core strength. Last one on this side. Step it back to chair. Inhale, reset your spine. Ground it to the earth with your right foot and step your left foot back a little bit this time. Inhale, prepare. Exhale. Really lifting in and up. All this movement's coming from your deep core line. Tons of strength and power here. And the last one, step it back to your chair. Inhale, reset your chair. Inhale, exhale, fold over your legs. Waving your spine long and coming into that edge of stretch. And from here, you can start to pedal out your feet a bit more. Get a bit deeper stretch on each side. Starting to open up the hips now that we've worked them quite a bit. You can even bend your right knee, keep your left leg straighter for you. Fingertips or palm to the earth. 
The left arm extends to the sky. Exhale, switch sides. It's a great stretch for all that core and leg work, hip work we just did. Exhale, folding into your forward fold again. Bending your knees, get really close to the earth. Roll yourself in and up, coming through all that core strength. Inhale to the sky, exhale. Hands, heart center, namaste. We'll take that again a little bit deeper, but this time, strong fingertips to strong palms. Step yourself back to down dog. Pedal out your feet here. And start with slight bend in your knees and elbows. Wave your spine long, create some space for you in this pose. Then you can press back to your um, down dog, pressing your hips up, and letting your heels fall naturally to the earth. And from here, we're gonna bend our knees and elbows. We'll use all of that deep core line again and wave yourself forward into plank. Come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, roll yourself in and up. And exhale, back to down dog. Very nice, now from here, bend your knees and elbows, right leg lifts, exhale, you're gonna bend your knees and elbows, create a lot of space, knee comes into chest for core plank one. Inhale, down dog splits, exhale for core plank two, really lifting in and up, lifting in and up with that core, exhale. Very nice, this time step right foot to right thumb, inhale here, prepare long spine, bend your back knee, roll yourself in and up to high lunge, Take a moment to settle into the pose. And then this time you can step your foot up the mat just a little bit to create a little bit sturdier base on your right leg. We're gonna inhale here, ground into the earth with your right foot. Lift with all of that deep core strength on the right leg. And exhale, knee is gonna lift up to 90 degree angle. Inhale, step it back. Exhale, fist of fire, come to low belly as you Lift your leg up with all of that deep core strength. A few more this side. And last one. This time, step it all the way back. Inhale here, exhale. Left hand plants firmly to the earth. Right arm extends to the sky. We'll do some circling, get rid of any shoulder tension and stretch out that front leg. So circle your arm down and back, bending both knees. As you extend back to the top, finding that first edge of stretch for the right leg. Circling down, back to your stretch. And the last time, circling down, this time holding the stretch for a couple of breaths. And coming back, strong fingertips, strong palms, step you back to down dog. Pedal out your feet again and just notice the difference between each side. So bend knees and elbows, wave yourself forward to plank. Come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. Roll yourself in and up. And exhale, back to down dog. All right, we're gonna try that sequence on the other side. So inhale here, prepare. Left leg lifts. As you exhale, create a lot of space. Lift in and up for core plank one. Down dog splits. Exhale, core plank two. Inhale up and exhale for core plank three. Really lifting in and up, in and up, in and up as you step your left foot to meet your left thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine, bending your back knee, rolling yourself in and up to your high lunge. moment to settle into the pose. You can step your right foot forward a little bit. That just creates a little bit sturdier base for this balance and movement challenge. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale as you ground into the earth with your left foot, lifting all of that deep core strength. 
all the way up your leg, all the way up your spine to lift your right knee. Inhale, step back. Exhale. Really using the Mula Bandha breath and your fists of fire to help this, this movement. And last one. Exhale, lifts you up. So much core power. Step it all the way back. Exhale. Right hand plants firmly onto the earth. Left arm extends this time. We go circles again. Circling down and back. Between into that first edge of stretch. And last time. This time holding that edge of stretch for a couple of breaths. And as you're doing this, don't let your right hip sink and twist you out of, out of whack. Keep your hips square to the earth, pressing away and creating space for your right or your left hip to stretch. Exhale. Strong fingertips, strong palms steps you back to down dog. From here, bend your knees and elbows, wave yourself forward to plank. We'll sink all of that strength, power and energy we just cultivated. And exhale, down dog. Very nice from here, making your way back to that forward fold, slight bend in your knees, wave your spine long over your legs, and then finding that edge of stretch. You can even hang onto your elbows, get a bit more of a calming hang here. And rock, uh, rock back and forth. Now whenever you're ready, make your way to sit, coming onto your back for our final resting pose. Take a moment here to windshield wide for your legs. Now we did stretching along with our uh, strength building, but if you do have any other stretches that you want to take, now's a great time to hit pause. Do that. Um, you can always come into a butterfly if you want a bit of a kind of um, groin stretch after doing all of that kind of outer hip work. That's a nice way to end the class or walking your feet out wide and letting your knees knock together. It's a good sacral and low back reset. So they're just some ideas <laughs> if you want to take a few more moments of stretch. But whenever you're ready, walk your feet out long, coming into your final resting pose. You can even do a big full body stretch, stretching out all of your core, core muscles from the inside out. And then just sinking into the earth, taking a few moments to settle into your new neutral and really take all of that core power that we just cultivated into the rest of the day. Whatever you have to do, think about using that deep core strength that you have from the inside out and really put it out into everything that, you, that you're gonna do today. So thank you so much for practicing with me. I really hope you enjoyed that core power flow. I definitely look forward to seeing you on the mat again. So of course, make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel so that you can see when the new videos go up. Uh, also, I have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerd Yogi email list. Uh, link is for you below, so make sure you're there as well. Namaste.